Hello and welcome back my beautiful people to the Curtis Price channel However, not much of a channel anymore considering I've been gone for three weeks But before you start running off and say that I abandoned you, I did not, okay? I treat you guys like you're my children, like my sperm My infertile sperms, by the way <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Now, today's topic, Eugenia Cooney is endangering her fans. Someone who I've never spoken about. A female called Eugenia Cooney. You've probably heard this name quite a lot over the last few years. And today, I'm going to be delivering quality content to you. But now I'm back and bigger than ever. <laughs> Mentally, I meant, uh... Yeah, those penis extension pills I was talking about, they never seem to work for me. However, you know, you're probably wondering why I want to talk about Eugenia Cooney. Let's just say this person I used to feel remorse for, sadness, love for her, some could say. And if I knew Eugenia personally, uh, I probably would try to do anything to help her. <laughs> what do you think I am, a simp? <laughs> I'm sorry everyone, but that's just not me. We crush simps in this town. I step on simps' faces and bury them in the ground, this filthy simp scum. Hello, baby? Yes, yes, baby, I'll be there right now. Of course, darling. I'm sorry, I'm... Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I know I said I used to feel remorse, and I still do, just not as much, because she endangered her fans by allowing stalkers to be the moderator of a Discord server. And on that Discord server was a lot of underage fans. And once that actually did happen. But of course, Eugenia Cooney couldn't give a flying fuck. Ah! Is that uh, enough to dislike someone? I mean, perhaps not. Well, you know... Don't worry, because oh boy, do I have a ride for you. I have a lot more things to discuss, so sit back, relax, get a piss bottle, because this, this is going to be fun. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, because I really need followers. <laughs> but listen up, everyone, we are on 70,000 subscribers, and with your guys' help, we might actually be able to get to 80,000 by the end of this month. I need to prove to my mum that YouTube is a viable thing for me, so... Please subscribe. <laughs> so Eugenia Cooney, a YouTuber who got a lot of her recognition from being very skinny and having a case of anorexia, which I feel a mass amount of sympathy for. However, the problem arises when she denies she has a problem in the first place and is very in denial, something her audience would get frustrated by. And throughout the years, she grew thinner and thinner and eventually gained more and more attention from just not YouTubers, but the main media as well, claiming she was a bad influence on children due to her physique. Kind of like Nick Accardo Avocado. Except the complete opposite. <laughs> and let me tell you, I've never quite seen a mama like that before. However, she finally admitted she had a problem and took some time off social media to focus more on her mental health. And I took time off YouTube while being face deep in meth, while being bummed by a lovely gentleman named Seth, holding the five acts of the incredible play, Macbeth. <laughs> and what can I see? I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was it. But of course, Shane Dawson uploaded a documentary on Eugenia, which caused a mass, mass amount of attention. <laughs> I crave attention. And this is the part where you comment, you know, eyes, lips, eye emoji, and you comment something like, me watching my favourite YouTube in the whole world right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an attention slut. Two words from 1912. Plot twist. Her friends came out and actually exposed the fact that she was not okay. She is not doing well, and that she still apparently needs to find the help required. Thanks, Shane Dawson, for painting this picture for us once again, my friend. <laughs> We're not friends. But it's actually ironic because that's usually the type of girls I go for. Ones who are not okay, and also require help. A bit of a touchy subject, but uh, I had an alcoholic wife, basically, and uh, <laughs> I guess you could say she loved the booze more than she loved me. Quite literally, as well. Uh, I, I walked into my room one day and she'd actually placed the bottle. <laughs> Following up today's events, well, uh, I suggest we actually take a proper sit down for this one. <laughs> Not like that's what I'm doing already. <laughs> Not like I've done that for the last month. Sat on my ass like a fat piece of shit I am. I did. That's no lie. Here I am in my new office, my new empire, the regime I have created to mass destruction upon this world of my videos and my creations. My girlfriend's bedroom. I'm in my girlfriend's bedroom. Yeah. Let's have a chat, shall we? Ooh. <laughs> uh, and that's about the closest I'll ever get to a vagina. However, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are here today to talk about Eugenia Cooney, in case you couldn't tell, like I have mentioned it a thousand times already. <laughs> 
We are here to talk about Regina's recent drama with her Discord server. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Also the things that go on in her streams. <laughs> I mean, you wonder how many times a person can fuck up. Now you're probably wondering, what on earth can go on in a Discord server that's so bad? What could ruin the positivity of our Earth? I mean, 2020's been so shit as it is. <laughs> now we've got Eugenia Cooney on the brink. 20 2020's ruined. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Can I refer to this as the Pussy Whisperer? Aya! But ladies and gentlemen, what could have Eugenia Cooney possibly done? Eugenia Cooney allowed p files to be the moderator of a Discord server. Of a Discord server full of children. Right, okay, um... Okay. That's like holding a door open for Jimmy Savile to walk straight into a children's nursery. What the fuck's wrong with you? And of course she did try to defend herself about the situation, but we'll take a little more of a look at that later. I would firstly like to read you this. Many of you don't know, she's had three confirmed pedos in her community at least. She had her audience go at great lengths to cover it up and not apologize for it. There are three, but there are probably more. She has never apologized or even tried to protect the young people in her audience. She doesn't age restrict her content and has actively ignored concerns. So that's someone claiming that she apparently ignores it. I, I don't know if she does care or not. We'll both find out together. And if she has ignored these concerns, that's not very responsible of her. As a creator, it is our responsibility to take care of you little cuties right here. Yes, I love you. <laughs> I've been trying to get a girlfriend for a long time now. <laughs> Drop in the comment section, wanna date me? I'm just kidding, uh, please don't flirt with me unless you want my wife to kill you. <laughs> and that's no joke. She's fucking crazy. But it's our responsibility to take care of you and if she's not being responsible, then she's being an asshole. That's my uh, response to that. Uh, Eugenia Cooney is an asshole. Quote me. But then, ladies and gentlemen, someone tried to let Eugenia Cooney know on her stream that there are people files in the Discord server. What do you think Eugene had to say about this? I can only wonder what you would say. I joined your Discord server for a couple of days a while back and I would definitely say it's not safe place, especially for young girls. Very inappropriate and violent men. Just letting people know. Right. So the the streamer moderator got rid of that important message trying to alert Eugene Cooney. <laughs> wow, Eugene. <laughs> You have some great people on your team looking after your viewers. Wow. And I thought I was the idiot of the internet. <laughs> what? Shut up. I find it extremely hilarious why moderators, the people you trust, Eugenia, would be deleting such a message trying to warn everyone to keep people safe. However, a young 14 year old girl did reach out to a moderator. One of Eugenia's trusted moderators, might I say. And this is what they had to say. Can you help me get a message to Eugenia? Only thing I can do is DM her on Twitter just like you. True. Basically, I'm being stalked by a p and I need to disappear for a bit is what I wanted to tell her. I'm sure she will understand. You've got to be fucking kidding me. There's a fucking ice cream van right outside. Now, don't worry, we will get to Eugenia's response in a bit, and I promise you it's worth the wait. But this is actually quite an ironic. The moderator she messaged is actually a, a convicted criminal. What? <laughs> what? And I did do some information check before this. I went around on Reddit and stuff like that and I watched some videos. Like I watched Repzilla, I watched uh, Fraser's video. But Fraser said himself, what the fuck happened to a background check? You should have, you know, maybe done a background check to find out that the, one of your trusted moderators is a convicted criminal. This man has done some horrible things to the first degree as well. But yet he is running a, a moderator party. You could say in a in a server full of minors, children. Just doesn't quite sit right with me, if you know what I mean. And you think, well, the stream moderators, how how are they reacting? The moderators on Twitch, are they you know lenient toward these people, allowing these people to be in here? Well, let's just find out, shall we? Emo J, moderator, said, I never banned him nor timed him out. Look at his timeout history clarification. I mean, I've already given him several chances when I've had people reporting mm, misconduct from him. He targets women in your community and brags about the size of his penis in whispers. I think this only proves how much I let it slide from your community and how lenient I am with them. Some people are legit full of shit. I'm sorry, what? He brags about the size of his penis in whispers? Since when was four inches enough to brag about? Not to mention his height, he's uh, a little bit on the shorter side, you could say. Uh, and I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> I don't. Stubby, I'll call him from now on. Mr. Stub. Stubster. 
Suck off, you prick. However, ladies and gentlemen, I am led to believe that uh, the moderators do have some slight power over Eugene. A lot of power. And they're meant to be moderators. People that work for you, Work for, not the other way around. Now let's see what someone had to say about her moderator on Twitch, Emoji. You know, the person's one we just read. That's right, you got it, cowboys. Don't know why I call you cowboys. A bit kinky, innit? I've been following Eugenia for years. You have mentioned her Discord and pedo mods, but her main mod, EmoJ, is a sad character. If Eugenia mentions getting the boyfriend on Tinder, EmoJ goes nuts about how all the Tinder is a bunch of mists and mirrors. He does not want her to have a potential dating life. I mean, as far as weird goes on how much control a moderator has for you, that is a bit much, I think. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, my stream moderators. You can have my ass tonight. <laughs> but it seems like the moderators have more power over Eugenia. Like, there's nothing really being done. There's no responsibility being taken here. People are just allowing these files to walk about in their servers. Again, there's such things as background checks. Eugenia should have done a background check of her moderators. I mean, tell me now in the comment section, am I being irrational here? Am I being, you know, too sensitive? It's time for someone to take action here. T time for order. Me, I'm running for president of virgins. But now finally ladies and gentlemen it is time just to hear what Eugenia had to say about it. I'll be honest I'm very excited to hear a response. I mean surely she's you know got to put some order in place maybe kick the people from the server get rid of the moderator that has so much control over her. That's the most reasonable thing to do. Can we all agree on that? Yes thank you. I'm being stalked Eugenia and I don't know if I can watch you under username anymore. Please don't forget me. I don't know what to do. It hurts so much. I love you. I gotta go into hiding. And Eugenia responded with this. Don't be afraid to report it to the authorities if things get too serious. You're always so sweet and I wouldn't ever forget you. Love you and hang in there. I'm sorry, what? Don't get afraid to go to the authorities if things get too serious. <laughs> too serious. <laughs> too serious. <laughs> For what I do know is, I would never go to Eugenia Cooney for my problems. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> uh, hi Eugenia, I'm on the toilet right now and there is blood squirting out of my asshole. Dark red blood. What should I do? Don't be afraid to call an ambulance if things get too serious. But Eugenia, there is blood squirting out of my asshole. <laughs> All I can say is, don't make me probe you. <laughs> that was a dead joke, that wasn't even funny. Um, and oh boy, can I not wait for Eugenia's response. I'm so excited everyone, the moment we've all waited for, Eugenia Cooney's response in real time, her voice, yes. So, let's take it away. Is server okay to join? You heard some things about private or not being banned? Oh, Hibuscus, yes, it's totally, yeah, if, you're, you're totally free to join that. About that, like, I know like some people try to like, you know, say like bad things about me kind of about like certain people that have been like part of the discord server and i just want to see what that guy's like that really doesn't have anything to do with me or anything to do with my moderators like at all i mean surely surely you have to be bullshitting yourself now i mean there's a level uh, you've crossed it like surely there comes in a point in time where you just have to realize maybe i am wrong <laughs> i just want to see what that guy's like that really doesn't have anything to do with me or anything to do with my moderators like at all i mean that's got nothing to do with me or my moderators firstly um yes it does have something to do with you it is your server your stream whatever you want to call it it's yours so yes whatever happens in there is usually your responsibility to keep an eye out oh no my wife stole a 10 inch black dildo from Ann Summers and now we're driving away in a getaway car that's got nothing to do with me, officer. It's not as if I was driving the car or anything. Nothing to do with me, officer. And what my wife was doing with that dildo? I don't know. And secondly, Eugenia, nothing to do with your moderators. Yes, yes it does. Your moderators are like your minions. And if they're not doing their jobs correctly, you know, to keep files out of the server, usually that has something to do with them as well. But of course, one of your moderators was a convicted criminal. I mean, it just, just doesn't top there, does it? It has nothing to do with me or my moderators. No, of course it doesn't. So much to say for your moderator, EmoJ. You know, the one who was deleting messages in a stream. Forgot about that one, didn't you? Aha, mm. uh -huh, it's all right. Everyone makes mistakes once in a while, you know, hiring convicted criminals to be your moderator. So everyone makes those kind of mistakes. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing here is a lack of responsibility. And 
that's just it at the end of the day. Just a lack of responsibility. So you put your supporters and your fan base in a very, very dangerous position. You are quite the idiot. And that's the truth, you know? Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's what everyone that's in denial says. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Screw this. I've had enough talking about it, and I only talk about things I want to talk about. So, let's talk about something I do want to talk about. My genitals. My subscribers. That's right. I was just saying some words there. Subscribe to my channel. That's right. Subscribe to my channel today, and you'll get, uh... Everything in the world. Everything you want will get come to you, I promise. And I'm gonna be uploading more often as well, so that makes it even better for you. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, please. It's dying. I need support, everyone. I need CPR. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. What's up? You can call me Sensei Price, bitch. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.